you guys, it's Minimize and welcome back to the Jungle Book, welcome back to Rimworld, welcome back to Life with Mowgli, Ammon, it was Stinkbug, it's now Blue Tricks, and Law. So, <laughs> um, first things first, by the way, I just want to say thank you very, very much for all the support on the videos recently. Um, you guys have been absolutely awesome and uh, it's, it, I, I've noticed getting more views, getting more subscribers and stuff. And it's really, really, um, it's really pleasing. So thank you very much, guys, for all the support. And that's all I'm going to say about that, really. Um, I have got, like, a new intro. I don't know if I've put that in this video or not. I don't know if I'll bother to uh, until I do, like, another series. But um, there is another intro there. Or uh, just an, an intro. Um, so there is one of those on the way, if it's not already on there. Um, so far, we have researched great bows. Um, and that has been that. We're doing long blades now. So long blades and great bows. We've got clothing dye. Um, although there is a lot of stuff now which is on our level. So I think probably what we should be doing. We've got electricity now. Probably want microelectronics basics. Um, that's probably going to be the one to go for. So if we cancel all the current research and go for microelectronics basics. Um, and that will allow us to get an orbital trade beacon. Uh, comms console. As well as then go for like geothermal power and stuff like that. Um, which will be really, really helpful and handy, if we're being honest. Um, after that, may go like drug production. Um, possibly like electric smelting. We'll, we'll see though. Uh, solar panels. Solar panels was the one, wasn't it? If we go solar panels and then we'll go microelectronics basics lined up after that. Um, I'm glad I spotted that. I'm glad I came into here to have a look. Um, we've already got wind turbines, so anything else is a bonus. Uh, Big Gera and Blue are just sleeping there. We'll get rid of that little envelope thing. And we are growing up some rice. We're growing some smoke leaf, some hill root, some more rice, some more hill root. So double rice, double hill root, smoke leaf, and cotton. Amazing. Amazing. We we'll be farmers. This is like pretty much like farming simulator, the jungle version. Okay, so Baloo's hauling some stuff in. What have we got on here? We've got four simple meals to be cooked each time. Uh, two porridges to be cooked each time. Uh, Mowgli, what are you making, Mowgli? You are making some tribal wear. Fair enough. I think what we're probably going to be making, tribal wear, duster, uh, cowboy hat as well. I don't think cowboy hat actually has any kind of effect on... Oh, no, it does. Plus eight. So heat waves and stuff are just not going to be a thing anymore. Just not going to need to worry about them. Everybody will be more than happy to sit through a heat wave. Um, animals. We have quite a few animals still. We have uh, a few wild boars. Uh, seven of those, I think. Seven of those. We've got Bagheera the panther and Baloo the grizzly bear. Um, so Blue Tricks just going around now, sort of taming up or training those, um, training those boars. They are within the animal area, which is around here, just until they're trained. Once they're trained in hauling, we'll utilize those. We'll send them out and about, and they can go grab anything that they like. So that's going to be pretty cool. Got our freezer. Freezer's all done. Sorted. Built. Which is good news. Uh, food. We're not cooking some meals. Probably need some more food, actually, don't we? These are all set to be harvested. All right, we'll, um, we'll harvest the ones that we can do. I'll hover my finger over H and just um, harvest up those as and when we can. Uh, Ammon is... Right, Blue Tricks, if you can come out and do this. Ammon, just go do your research because you are our research guy. Uh, Blue Tricks, what can you... Can you do plant... Can't, I can't remember. Yes, you can. You can do pretty much everything. Um, so I'll have you come along and, uh... Oh, no, you won't, because he doesn't do dumb labour. My bad. Ammon, what about you, then? Just No, he'll never do plant cutting, either. Uh, Mowgli is doing the tailoring. Laura's doing the cooking. And, uh, that is that. Oh, that must be what... That must be what Laura was doing earlier on. Potentially just, uh, grabbing us some peaches and some oranges. Uh, an old dead rat that we definitely don't want. The prisoner room has been cleaned up. Can we get anything else in here? Um, we were proper lacking for trees to cut down, weren't we, for wood? 
So if we go, uh, we'll go chop wood and then we'll just um, come along and just cut all these ones just around here if possible. There is a monkey that is dead, so we'll take that. We'll chop him up. We'll use his meat and uh, we'll put his monkey meat in some meals. There is nothing tastier than monkey meat. If you ever find yourself like in McDonald's or something, ask for the monkey. Best thing on the menu. No, I'm joking. I don't actually, uh, I don't serve monkey. All right, banana trees, excellent. Love that, we've got some more food coming in. Although saying that, the rice is now all being harvested, so that's another plus point. But Baloo just doing his job, hauling in some, uh, looks like peaches, that. It is, 40 peaches, nice one Baloo. Bagheera's doing his job too. We do need some meat for these guys because, I was saying that, no, um, Baloo, he can eat vegetables and other kinds of stuff like that. He doesn't necessarily need to eat meat. I'm pretty sure that's the case for bears. Yeah, vegetables, raw meat, corpses, seeds, animal products and all that kind of stuff. Whereas, um, Bagheera, wherever he's gone, here he is. Right, Bagheera has a diet of raw meat, corpses, animal products, meals, processed foods and kibble. So, yeah. Pretty limited on what Bagheera can actually eat. What sort of um, training chance are you getting on that? 36%. That's not too bad. Although, 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 I think if we just cancel the training just for the minute. Just cancel. You can be trained in release because there's only, you only need sort of like two, uh, two training points on release to be able to learn it fully. Um, otherwise, we're just going to use up all of our food. I don't want to. I want to wait until um, we get more food, like in stock, like uh, in reserve, before we start training animals. So yeah. Otherwise, we're going to go through it and burn through all the food pretty quickly. All right, both Laura and Blue Tricks just working in the dark here. Should probably get some kind of lights. We do have a battery, to be fair. Uh, furniture, let's go. Right, wall light. Right, just rotate that round, make sure it's on there. There we go, we'll have one that side too. Looking good. Well, it will do once they're both in. The nice thing about the wall lights is they're just like an alternative to standing lamps and they literally just stick on the uh, stick on the wall. And uh, you don't have to like designate like a floor tile for them because they just go above anything else. Top mod that. Excellent mod. Something so simple, but so effective. I've right, got a medical bed here. That's the only reason why Mowgli is still alive, isn't it? What have we got? We've got 820 cloth. Uh, floors. We haven't got any decent floors yet, which is the thing. Yeah, once we start researching sort of like carpet making and stuff like that, we can get like a pretty colour flooring. Oh, thunderstorm. But it's raining, so we don't need to worry. That's cool. I love it when there's like fire going on and like you don't need to worry because the rains are just coming down. Makes things so much easier. Just absolutely less hassle. Nothing, no hassle to deal with at all. Not even that. We're not even worried. More. Doesn't affect us. Doesn't affect us. I'm liking that plasteel though. That plus surface plasteel. Oof. Oof. When we start getting turrets and stuff, that's gonna be great. Uh, Baron, or AKA Bacon, has uh, given birth. And we have one extra wild boar. Which is a female, which is pretty good. So we've got, uh, we should have, I think, eight wild boar now. We've got six females and two males, which is a nice, a nice balance, I think. In a world where you're taming up sort of a wild boar, that kind of balance, spot on. Right, research finished, solar panels. So we've got those now, that's good. Emma, what's your researching skill? 17, it's pretty ridiculous, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, have some of that fire, fire, fire. Doesn't even matter. We'd have all our base bit out of wood and that wouldn't even matter. What's this capybara doing? This capybara is just like walking around like in amongst our wild boar, like thinking that he owns the place. 
Well, Mr. Capybara or Miss Capybara, you don't. This is our area. You don't fit in around here. Although, saying that, I might, I might just try and tame it. <laughs> just why not? Why not? It doesn't fit in yet, so we're going to make sure it fits in. We're going to be nice. Look at Mowgli. Right, what sort of... Uh, sort of chance you're getting on that. 8.7, that's not a lot, Mowgli. You can do better, I'm sure. I think you had to... Uh, yeah, you've got a 16. 16 skill for animals, so you should be... Uh, should be much better on the training. Or the taming, rather. I always get those two mixed up. You'll notice that I get those two mixed up like a lot. Taming and training. Taming is for foreign animals, animals which aren't part of our colony, and training is for native animals which are part of our colony. There's a little baby wild boar. Not so wild anymore because uh, he's part of the colony. I think they should just be called boars, just when they're not wild. Just just boar. Oh, hold on, I hear fire. Alright, this is the type of fire I don't like because, because now there's no rain. Which isn't good for the rainforest. Oh, we've got plenty of these boomalopes. There's loads of these boomalopes. Right. Have we got any females which are... Right, female age 5. What do they live to? Life expectancy, 15. Female age 5 there. 7. 6 and a 4. We'll tame that one. And we will tame... This one too. We'll give both of those a go. See how we get on. There is, there should be plenty of food for them to eat. There's lots of grass and stuff. So we should be okay. Just wondering if we've got any muffalo or either, either muffalo or like alpaca or something like that. Something which can give us a bit of wool to sort of make some uh, clothes out of. Here we go, alpaca. That's what we were after. Alpaca, you're 12 years old. Life expectancy 15. You're almost dead, mate. Almost dead. Potentially dead. There's some elephants too. Oof. They've got to be pretty difficult to tame though, I think. Wildness 75. So not majorly difficult. Should we give it a go? We'll, we'll give we'll give elephants a bash. What do they live to? Elephants live to 50. Got a male age 9. Two males age 9. And one female, age 32. So they'll, they'll eat anything. They can be kept outdoors. It's not going to matter too much what they uh, what they eat. So they do attack. Uh, an escape pod. Escape pod. Escape pod. Hello to you. Me? Me is incapable of cooking and plant work. Is slothful and too smart. Um... Decent intellectual, decent crafting, medicine, animals, social, and melee. Let's give it a go. Um, who's our best socialite? Wardening. Ammon. Ammon with your cowboy hat. Come up here. And uh, capture me, the ninja. Who's the best ninja of them all? Me. Nah, I'm, I'm not. It's me. Got quite a long way to trek though, Ammon. How long has she got to live? 17 hours. She got chemical damage to her right kidney. A psychi addiction. Probably should have checked that out beforehand. Probably. Never mind, though. Never mind. We'll take those psychi addicts and we'll we'll reform them. We'll put them on a... a bit, oh, more alpaca. More alpaca. Right, male age 7. Male age 9. Female age 11. Female age six. Here we go. Right, we'll take the two females if possible. And then the male as well. And then that should give us a decent amount of wool in order to make clothes. Oh, there's me, sir. That's a yayo. Yeah, yo. I should probably get an infection, I would imagine. Who's, uh, who's healing? Mowgli, you are. Alright, nice one, Mowgli. 
Now I've got a crack to the right tibia, gunshot to the left leg, a bite scar on the right leg, and a torso. Has a bit of a scratch on it. Making her feel nice and uh, at home though. So prisoner, we're going to go chat and recruit. Only 59% difficulty. So we should be okay. I would think. Wouldn't have thought it's going to take too long at all. I right, just need to uh, be careful that the um, the elephants don't go absolutely mental. 8.7% chance. That's that's not bad for an elephant. I think the elephants are, are pretty um, are pretty aggressive as well. They can be trained in hauling too. We've got a raid. So a group of pirates from the emotionless pigs. Um, it looks as though that they are attacking immediately. The the majority of them have clubs. So and then there's a uh, Harparker who has a revolver. Um, any of these guys any good at anything? Incapable of intellectual, but hard worker, teetotaler, steadfast. Junior is pretty good. Um, Eugenio just not at all. Don't want him at all. Um, same for Mila. And uh, Nicole Squid, annoying voice, psychopath, and a brawler. The prize would be Junior. Junior the messenger. So let's don't shoot the messenger and we'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. Right, um, all of you lot, come over here. Have all the animals come with as well. Alright, maybe just, uh, maybe just to here. Alright, let's do this. Oh, what? Nicole has, um... Right, let's release the animals. Oh, Bagheera's been shot. Right. Junior has been killed, so we're not taking Junior. Right, the pigs are fleeing now. The emotionless pigs are fleeing. Oh, Nicole's picked a fight with Baloo. That's probably not what you want to do, Nicole. Right, I'm... A little bit of advice, if there's a grizzly bear, even if you've got a club, don't pick a fight with it. It's, um, that's a suicide mission right there. Alright, we're gonna go melee attack and just, um, melee attack Nicole. I think Har Parker got away. What? You managed to knock out Baloo? Are you kidding me? Baloo, like, oh my words. May maybe then, okay. If you do ever encounter a grizzly bear and you find yourself with a club in your hand, definitely attack it. That's a piece of advice right there. As performed in RimWorld, it, we know it works. We know it definitely works because we saw it happen. Um, right, Bagheera, if we take you away from being owned by Mowgli for a second, so you can go get some treatment. Right, Baloo is being tended to by law. Um, Ammon, are you able to never do doctoring? Okay. Right, Mowgli is going to heal up Bagheera. Uh, so he has a permanent gunshot injury to his uh, to his left eye. He's uh, a, a recurve bow stab to his uh, rear right leg. Uh, skull and head, which are probably, I thought, I would have thought, one and the same. Um... From a revolver. Baloo was just getting beaten up all over the place uh, with the person with the club. Nicole, I think it was. Juvenile wild boar. Right, all those guys have been healed. His nose was cut off and his, uh, his rear left hoof has been shot off. I think that was uh, from previous though, so... Don't need to worry too much. Alright, do we have any kind of psychopath? Optimist, fast walker, chemical interest, and nervous, green thumb, trigger happy, depressive. So no. No, we don't. So I think that's why we had this little area here for dumping bodies. It just meant like the um, the boar and stuff like that could uh, just go and sort of feast upon the bodies. We have a local capybara that's gone mad, so a little tiny grizzly bear. Probably just want to um, take this out ASAP. Blue tricks can oh oh oh! Right, blue tricks come back here. Right, release the animals. Come back here, all of you. Melee attack, melee attack that. Bam! Capybara dealt with. Oh yeah, we tamed the alpaca as well. So we've got some. Uh, we're gonna get some wool. 
come in. Some point over time, slow and steady amount of wall. I'm liking our little home at the moment. Everything's going okay. What have we got block wise? We've got 330 slate blocks, uh, sandstone. Are we? Uh, we need to add a build to make sandstone blocks. Do until. It's going to go 2,510. Pause when satisfied. Uh, we're going to go drop the ingredient radius right down. Uh, pause when satisfied and we'll do it. Uh, we'll do it until like 100. So one, oh, oh. Done. Sorted. Going to get some sandstone blocks. Hope you're all excited. Like a builder's version of Christmas. Somebody dropping like loads of sandstone blocks on your door. <laughs> That's a, a large amount of boomalopes. Right, we've finished machining. We've finished machining. We have a few more components. Bagheera's just eating the bodies. That's excellent, Bagheera. Doing some cleanup work. I love it. Uh, Blue is still crippled, pretty much. Yeah, Blue's still crippled. He'll get up soon, though, won't he? And Law is just bringing in the rice. So in the rice fields and um, getting us barely decent amount of food. Right, okay, so that's the raid over and dealt with. We're now healing up. We're going to leave that there for the episode. Once again, thank you all for joining. Um, thank you for watching. If you can leave a like, if you can leave a comment, even subscribe to the channel as well. Or I'll bite your face off. Standard. Right, catch up with you all soon. See you in the next episode and ciao for now.